Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationblog.com and in today's video we're going to talk about how programming a Micro 800 is different than a Micrologix, Slick 500 or Control Logics. So let's go ahead and take a look at our program here inside of Connect Components Workbench. And uh, basically you don't have tasks, programs and routines. You have what we call programs. Let's go ahead and create one. We'll do a ladder diagram. And uh, you can see here by default it gets a name of Prog1. And you can see I have local variables and of course global variables. Those would be like your local tags or program tags versus your global tags. And um, if we want to create another program, we can do that. Let's create one that's a function block. And you can see it appears here. It has its own local variables. But you notice there's no main routine that has to jump to other subroutines. And um, there's no tasks. So it's really a lot different. But the cool thing is just create as many programs as you want. And your program, all your programs will run when you put the PLC into run mode. So that's cool. Now that we've created a program, let's go ahead and add some local variables to it. So we'll create, uh, let's see here. I'm going to right click and do an insert record. And I'm just going to call this my bool for a boolean. And I will give it a data type of bool. So now I'll right click and insert another record. And we will call this my dint. And we will make it a double integer. And finally, we'll create one. Whoops, got to right click here, insert record. And we will call one called my real. Whoops. And we'll make it a type of real. And you can see how many data types there are. There's all kinds. A lot of them are for specific instructions. But um, you got all your uh, basic ones up here at the top. So we want a real. Excellent. And so there are my local variables, which are only available to that program. And of course, I have my global variables, including IO, which is available to all programs. And that's it. That's how easy it is to organize your programs inside a CCW for your Micro 800 and how to create local variables or what we used to call program tags in RS Logix 5000 for your Micro 800 program. Now, if you thought this video was helpful, Please give it a like and subscribe if you want to know about my future videos. And if you want to learn everything you need to know to program the Micro 800 line of programmable controllers, check out my video course over at nano-basics.com. And if you'd like to support me and help me remove all the ads from all my blogs and from all my videos, then consider pledging $1 a month over at patreon.com forward slash automation. And until next time, peace.